Hello and welcome back. Recently, I made a video on how to host a website for free using Infinity Free. However, during the process of uploading your web files, you might come across an error that says FTP account quota has been exceeded. Some of you may have experienced this issue while using Infinity Free's built-in file manager. This kind of error can interrupt your file uploads, especially when dealing with multiple files at once. To avoid these problems, it's better to use an FTP software like FileZilla. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use FileZilla to upload your website files quickly and reliably. Let's get started. Open your browser and search for FileZilla. From the official site, filezillaproject.org, click on FTP. You'll also find the direct link in the video description. If you're using a 64-bit Windows operating system like I am, select this version. A single click will start the download. You're seeing a pop-up because I use Internet Download Manager, IDM, to speed up downloads. If you don't have IDM, your browser's normal download will begin instead, so don't worry. Once the download is complete, locate the setup file in your downloads folder and double-click it to start the installation process. Agree. Next, check desktop icon and click Next. Next. Install. Click Finish. The software will now open. Okay, let's go to Infinity Free to find our FTP login details. Click on FTP Details. Copy the FTP hostname and paste it into the host field. Do the same for the username and password. Enter 21 into the port field and make sure it's correct. Click on Quick Connect. OK. OK. Wait until the connection is successfully established. While we wait, let me explain some key parts of FileZilla. At the top, we have the status slash message log, which displays important notifications such as errors or successful connections. If you see red error messages here, you won't be able to perform actions until they change to success messages. Below, there are two main sections, the local site, your computer, and the remote site, the server. Each section is split into two panes. The top pane lists folders, and the bottom pane displays the files within the selected folder. The layout is the same for both the local and remote sides. Here's what we're going to do. We'll transfer a website stored on a personal computer to a public server so that it's accessible online to everyone. Successfully connected. On the local site side, locate the folder containing your website files. When you select it, its contents will appear in the lower pane. On the remote site side, double-click the htdocs folder to open it. Since this is the remote server, it depends on your internet connection, so wait for it to open successfully. Once you see the success message in the status log, select all files from the local site pane and drag them to the remote site pane. Drag, drop.
If you're prompted to overwrite a file, an overwrite confirmation window will appear. Select the appropriate options. For example, always use this action and apply to current queue and click OK. Wait for the status log to confirm the upload was successful. If you have a strong internet connection and enough data but continue to see errors for more than five minutes, there may be another issue. For example, in my case, I had three failed transfers. These files did not upload successfully. index.php, the database file, and jQuery.js. I will re-upload the missing files, except for the database file, which doesn't need to be in htdocs. First, identify the location of these files on your computer. Delete the failed ones from the remote site. Upload them again, starting with jQuery.js. I'll refresh my web file manager to confirm everything is in place, and then visit my website to make sure everything is working correctly. And that's it. You now know how to use FileZilla to upload your website files to Infinity Free quickly, reliably, and without running into quota or file manager errors. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, feel free to check out my other videos for more tips and guides. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.